Hi, Richard Sawyer here. In part three of our Mail Merge series, I'm going to show you how to merge uh, from a report. <clears throat> in this case, we're going to be looking at the accounts receivable report, and I'll show you how to put together a letter that uses the information from that report uh, so you can send out a bunch of letters to uh, patients who owe you money. Uh, of course, the better thing would be that you don't get in that situation in the first place, but if it's happened, this is how you would set that up. Um, I'm going to cover how to export a report from SpineLogic as an Excel file. I'll show you how to make a new uh, template document in Word. I'll then show you how to link your template document to the Excel data source that you created in the first step, how to add your fields into your template document, and then how to merge your documents and either print them to the printer or, or save them as files. So let's have a look at how that is done. First of all, here we are in SpinalLogic. So we need to get to the, the report that contains the accounts receivable information. So you go to Admin Reports, and you probably know that we have the usual accounts receivable report up the top here. And you can see that one there. But we need one that contains addresses. So if you go down, the, down to the bottom, you'll see there's a section of specific mail merge reports. Because you can export this into Excel, the one that's here, but you won't get the addresses. If you use this one here, though, and we show, then it's not much to look at. It's not a pretty report, but it gives you exactly the information you need to be exporting to Excel. So let's save this as an Excel file. And we will open it after it's exported and we'll call it report.xls and we'll just stick it on the desktop and I have one there already, we'll just replace that and there is our data, it's pretty ugly, if you want to see what it actually looks like, make it a little prettier then we can format and make it, let's make it say 12 point and we can adjust the column width so you can see them, we adjust the row widths so you can see what's actually in the rows, so there it is, we've just got the field names, title, first name, last name, etc and you can see the actual records down below, we've got eight records in there that we're going to be using in our mail merge. So we'll just save that back onto the desktop again. And let's create our new Word document. So I'll open Word and we'll put it, and normally you would, of course, you would open this with your letterhead. And so we're going to want to um, write to the patient. So we'll put their, their address, it's going to go in here, and then we're going to have. Uh, Dear, and we're going to put their name in here and uh, it has come to our attention that you owe us and uh, we'll put the, the dollar amount in here obviously you'd want to write a better letter than that <laughs> please send it to us I'm sure you can do something better than that, but this, this will do us for now. Sincerely, Practice T Manager, and we'll save this to the uh, to the desktop also. Okay, desktop, and we'll call it um, Accounts Receivable Letter Template. Right, now we need to link it to our data source, so we'll go here and we'll click on mailings and we'll click select recipients, use existing list and our data source is on the desktop and it's already picked up our report.xls so we'll just click open and it's asking us which part of the, of the report we want to use and yeah, we'll use page one. So here where we have the address, we want to insert the patient's address now so we can go to insert merge field and we have a uh, patient's title and their first name and their last name. I want to put in their address, address one, address two, suburb, space, state, space, postcode. And then here where we have dear, we want to put in their first name unless you want to be more formal, we'll just use first name and we'll put in the balance here okay, and we want to see what that looks like, so we'll click a preview and there's our, our preview of the of the data as it is entered 
Now that looks a little bit bald there with a 46 without the 00. zero. So since we don't know if there's going to be a sense or not on an individual case, we can't just type in dot zero zero without possibly making it look bad. So let me show you how you can uh, you can update this. And this is just standard Microsoft Office stuff. We're going to go in here and we're going to edit the field. And here we'll click on field codes. And here we'll add a switch. We're going to add this one here. And so we're going to format with a dollar sign and the and the and formatting with the with the right number of digits. And so now it's going to come looking like that. We can take out that dollar sign that we no longer need. And there it is, beautifully formatted for us. So of course you want to pretty this letter up a bit and have it on your letterhead. But now you can see if we step through the list, you'll see that each of the different people that we have in our list are showing all eight of them there. So we've got eight of them there now. And if we want to, we click on finish and merge and we can either send them directly to the printer or we can click edit individual documents in which case it will make us up a bunch of letters and you can see that there's one after the next after the next or mail merge with the different names in there so that is essentially all that there is to it uh, of course you want to save your template somewhere better than your desktop where they're going to be nicely backed up so you can use them again next time but that's pretty much all that's involved in the process have fun with that, and if you think I've missed anything out, then add it into the comments below. As always, I'd love to hear your feedback.